G'day, we're down here at the Victorian Caravan and Camping Show down here at Melbourne and it's been a freaking massive, massive uh, couple of days already. But we want to put together a bit of a video for you guys. We understand that not everyone can get down to the show. If you're looking at a, a, a new caravans or whatever, maybe got a previous caravan, one to upgrade. Uh, it's, it's, there's no better way to get to a show or a dealership that's got heaps, of, uh, heaps on offer so you can see all the different uh, layouts, colours features, all that sort of stuff, and there is some awesome upgrades for the 2023 range uh, across everything Ooh. with Lotus, so George is very, very, very excited, so She's excited what are we looking to at be here, here behind us, what are we going to look at first? We've got the 22.3 Trooper, so it's a triple bunk, this one, but obviously you can get that in a double bunk as well, so we're going to jump in and check that one yeah, out. Very popular, very hot property, these sort of vans, so we're going to start there, we're going to uh, take a look inside. Alright, coming inside, look, as you see on the outside, there are some new uh, decals for 2023, they're a matte black finish they look so bloody nice that's the kind of stealth sort of mode a little bit plainer is sort of the idea behind this uh for this year's range and i think it looks really really good so big fan of this up here in this in this i reckon if i end up having three golden retrievers one day this will probably be the layout uh that i would that I would personally go with we've got the offset bed down here people are loving the offset beds not to you come in feel it see it all this sort of stuff to really experience uh how good it is so, so there's a lot of pros to this bed the biggest one is having the walkway uh, down by the side here with this uh, with this layout here they do have an option now for an outside pantry which also gives you a nice bit of bench top along here where you've got a usb charger and double power points another fe 2023 feature is uh double power points uh throughout the whole van so plenty of storage here. you could you could charge your phone laptops put some flowers or something there i know michaela did have a vase or a diffuser or something like that uh, Smart TV is standard now with the 2023 Troopers, which is awesome. It's a lot of things that people were upgrading. Gives you a bigger bigger screen, bigger 32-inch screen. All your Netflix, all that stuff is on there, so you're not having to go through and use like the dongles and the, Tel uh, the Telstra TV boxes and all that sort of stuff to get uh, YouTube, Netflix and all that. With the offset bed, you get your big double wardrobe beside here. So you can know, have that as either hanging space or have it as shelves, whatever, whatever you decide. We personally uh, go for the shelves and fold everything on there. Lift up bed still, so you get plenty of uh, space under there, and you also get a second external tunnel boot where you can have access under the bed there, which is awesome for things you sort of want to, uh, you know, maybe even like shoes and that, things you want to sort of uh, quickly grab, easy accessible. Uh, and it's obviously the floors under there, so it's a nice, nice, clean, tidy space. Got everything overhead there for more storage, knickers, jocks, all that sort of stuff, socks up there, and a Sirocco fan up here. The Dometic DRS is standard on all of the 2023 range and then moving on here into the kitchen we've got the bench seat along here uh, which is awesome i'm a big fan of the of the bench seat now uh really liking these colors in here too the uh, there's a bit more black in this one i think like i would happily go with this with this color scheme uh absolutely so into here we've got all our uh, red arc red vision up here so you get two 200 uh, amp batteries now so 400 amps of lithium standard which is awesome 400 is an amazing start uh, uh, you know, 200 to 300 amp hours. If you want to use some aircon microwave, those 240 appliances, uh, these days just don't really cut it. In this particular model, we've got the sink only. So you can get the sink and then you can have the drainer next to it. We personally go just the sink only. You can get like a little Kmart fold out uh, little thing there if you want them to do uh, dishes and all that sort of stuff, drying. I feel like it just gives you a lot more bench space. So USB point out the kitchen now is also a 2023 upgrade. A lot of people sit their phone or AirPods or something on the bench there wanting the charge. Another exciting thing for 2023 is all the troopers come with the, the Harrier, the Dometic Harrier. So it's a little bit of a bigger, uh, bigger air conditioner. So it's going to cool things down uh, a lot better as well. Also a bigger fridge. This is standard now. So it's standard than, uh, bigger than your last standard one. This is a 224 uh, liter fridge here so it is uh way more room in here which is uh which is mega mega exciting so going into the into the back rooms here into the bedrooms and the in the bathroom coming back into the back half of the van now we're in the center bathroom i think the center bathroom is such a great option for families because it actually gives you room you know if you've still got little ones you can come into the massive shower you can you've got room to kneel down help give them a wash or a, you can even put a tub in here give them a little bath while you're on the road it makes just life with little ones, so much easier, oh, I think anyway, but if you had dogs, plenty of room for dogs in here as well to give them a nice big wash as well. Got the cassette toilet, the Dometic cassette toilet, the sink and your overhead cupboards and your drawers as well. And then coming into the bunk area here, an upgrade for the 2023 range is that there is Sirocco fans in the bunks now. So that's something that people were 
adding in anyway so Lotus thought why don't we just add it in as a standard? And in the bunk area as well for the kids, they've also got larger windows which are standard as well. So it gives more room for the kids to have a look out and a bit of a view as well. And to my left here, we've got our wardrobe. So if you've got three kids, perfect. There's shelves in here, one for each child. And then underneath here is the huge washing machine. I know so many parents absolutely love the massive washing machine to get all the clothes done. So taking a bit of a closer look at the battery system uh, in this Trooper is got the Red Arc Red Vision on here so you can control everything on here. See all your solar, the input, output, puts, all that sort of stuff. Got the Enerdrive 2600 watt inverter, which is awesome. Enerdrive, Enerdrive do sort of downgrade their products as well. So it's really like a 3000 watt inverter. So it's gonna run all your aircon microwave, all that sort of all that sort of big stuff there. So you got four 200 watt panels on the roof now. So 800 watts of solar standard, which is awesome. This is the purpose behind these troopers is like, you can literally just hook this thing on, go, go out there, live off the grid, and just literally tow this thing away and have nothing to worry about. So the 400 amps of lithium, we've also got the Red Arc BMS uh, Manager 30. So when you plug into the wall, you're gonna get about 32 amps of charge coming in uh, off the wall. And then also when you're plugged into your vehicle uh, through the Anderson plug, you're gonna get 32 amps as well. For the solar on the roof, it's got a uh, DC DC Red Arc 50 in there as well. So you're gonna be able to get, um, what I would do, what they would do in here is that have the solar panels uh, wired through the, the 50 and then the, Obviously, the BMS 30 is going to be uh, through the car or when you're plugged in. So when you're driving, you're getting 32 amps uh, off your car. Plus, if you're driving in the sun or if it's raining, you won't get much solar. But if you're driving on a nice, beautiful day, you're going to get quite a lot of solar in as well and charge everything up uh, for your next stop. With the 200 watt panels, you're probably going to expect to get 9 to 11 amps per panel, I'm going to sort of say. So look, if you got between, even if you got between 35 to 40 amps off the roof and then plus driving, if you get another 30, 32 in there, you're looking at that sort of safely anywhere between that 60 and 70 amps mark driving out straight away again depending on conditions down the road so that's pretty awesome to fill this battery bank up pretty quick if maybe you use the air conditioner all weekend uh, to keep the family and the kids happy so they're not, not complaining on a bloody hot 30 degree day which has been like that down here lately and then if you're driving into the next the next place you're not going to need to sit there and charge for 12 hours a day a good you know a couple hour drive plus some more sun for the rest of the day. You're really gonna be, uh, really gonna be filling up the batteries are here uh, again and keep everyone happy for the next couple of days as well. All right, outside to my favorite part. So on the, for all the 2023 uh, range now on the Troopers, you get the DO45 hitch. So this is, it also comes with now the ATX suspension is now rated at 4.4 ton uh, with the coils where it was previously at 3.7 ton. So pretty much the way they've done this, you can still, if you still got a three and a half ton vehicle, uh, you can still get it plated to that. But look, if you've got a uh, four ton vehicle, vehicle or whatever, uh, they can tow that capacity, uh, they can do that. So every, everything's set up, it's got the heavy duty change, so everything is set up there. Uh, if you need to up things or whatever, uh, you can happily happily do that there. So onto the exterior here, again, we've got the new panels here, uh, the new sticker kit, sorry, uh, on the German made uh, composite panel in here. It just looks so good. Look, I'm just, I'm adapting to this sandy top color. When it's in person now, I think especially with these matte black stickers, it's nearly, it's it's up there, one of my favorites now, but I'm not getting a Sandy Top 79 series to go with it. I promise you that. So let's have a bit of a look through here. Uh, you've got our tunnel boot out here, plenty of space. You can chuck a, I don't know, chairs, tables, all that sort of stuff in there. Plenty of things And there. This is a bit of an outlook at the, the outside pantry here. So plenty of stuff there, spices, all that sort of stuff. If you've got a barbecue there, it's uh, mega easy to just grab things, uh, chuck it out there. Quick things you want to get, dog toys, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Nice, clean, easy access. You now get the nice uh, nice black Lotus wheels down here and you get 285 tires as standard, which is awesome. 285 tires for off-road caravan, in my opinion, is the most uh, the most perfect, perfect, beautiful size. They come with the uh, Cooper tires, so good quality tires. Uh, so you're not rolling around uh, out in the desert on, on cheap stuff. Uh, and again, long here, you've got your nice, uh, nice outside little uh, bench here. You can chuck a little barbecue or something up there, a little hot plate uh, or something. Gal, Gal Dip chassis, these are raised a little bit. This is the perfect, uh, strongest strongest chassis out there uh, on the market. Uh, for flex, everything as well, it's just it's just strong, durable, uh, along with these wheels, tires, ATX suspension. Uh, I just personally think you can't get a better look than that as well. So the van room now, I'm actually really excited. This is brand new to the Lotus range. It's a 17 foot Freelander. So our 
previous van uh, was a 17.6 foot Freelander. That's the first, the first van we started off uh, doing our travels in. Uh, we we had, had an east-west bed. Uh, but there's so many. I really, really like the, these shorter vans. Uh, first, first of all, I think they just look tough from the outside, uh, being that little bit shorter. But this, what they're, they're playing around some uh, exciting stuff in here, which is really, really awesome. So one thing we know a lot of people don't like, the east-west bed. Again, plenty of pros and cons to it. I personally think that the pros uh, outweigh the cons of that. But... In this one here, it's very, very similar. It's sort of taking that sort of approach from uh, from our current layout. So we've got an offset bed in here in a 17-foot van. So this is really going to appeal to... This van's around the 2.5 tonne in this van that we're in here uh, now. So you get about 935 kilos of payload, which is which is massive. This is a, a definitely a positive to going to a little bit of a smaller van. If you're telling with dual cabs and that sort of stuff, this is going to be... Uh, if you're two people, this is going to be absolutely awesome for you. Now, I do know they are playing around with some... Other 17 foot size with some bunks and all that sort of stuff, trooper spec. So uh, stay tuned for that. So we've got our, our, our offset bed in here, which is awesome in a 17 foot van. Uh, the bit down the side here, they've got the the, the outdoor pantry there. Uh, again, if you wanted, you can delete that to get some more room or whatever. But that's an awesome, awesome function. Sit stuff on the on the side there. Access things from the outside, spices, all that sort of stuff. Massive storage under the bed here. Again, a lot of storage in here for a 17 foot. So you've got the external access hatch out there. Lift up bed so you can fit plenty of stuff uh, under there. All your clothes and that down the side side drawer. So pretty much the same. The feel of this is the same as like a 19, 20 foot van. So you're really sort of getting that same uh, same bedroom feeling. Into the kitchen now, I personally really, really like these colors. I think these look really, really good. So in here, we've got the uh, the gas cooktop. This is the, uh, the Thetford uh, gas hob. So this is a bit different to having your four burner with your oven. There is no oven in this van that we're in right now. So you can, uh, you can option that in or whatever if you want to. No oven and no microwave. So it helps save a little bit of room, a little, little bit of weight, uh, all that sort of stuff. So still get plenty of bench room on here as well. And then over here, we've got the, uh, the bench seat. A little bit of a smaller bench seat in here, but you still got enough there for two, three people uh, across there. Eat breakfast, eat, eat dinner, all that sort of stuff. Plenty of overhead storage up here uh, as well for everything. Again, it's really... To me, this really just feels like, it really feels like our van, but just a touch shorter. Like everything is uh, is still here and it just feels really, really open. Two full grown adults in here. Uh, you got the bed going north, south. I think this is, uh, it doesn't feel, it feels more like an 18.9 foot or something uh, rather than the 17 foot. Into the bathroom here, you've got the big size shower in here, which is awesome. And then you still got your washing machine in here. So again, this still just feels like, I keep saying it, it still just feels like the same size of a 19 foot van. Uh, but in here, the only, um, you've got extra storage in here uh, as well. So you've got your, your hanging cupboards, uh, hanging space next to your bed there as well. So you could easily turn this into hanging space as well. Or in this one, uh, we've got drawers here. So you can pop all your... You know, shorts, jeans, that, which you can do above the bed as well. So there's plenty, plenty of storage uh, in here. So obviously your toilet, all that sort of stuff. But again, it just feels, I cannot stress enough. It is, I, I really, really like this van. I think it's, it's, it's mega cool, especially I know when people coming in and, and weights can be an issue. If you also need the tear weight to be around that two and a half ton, uh, a bit less, 2.6 ton with some extras or whatever. I uh, really, really think this is going to be uh, the perfect van for you guys. A little bit smaller, especially to get into some tight places, those tighter, a uh, little bit more off-grid sort of things, a little bit shorter. Uh, I think this is definitely going to be uh, a game changer. We hope you're enjoying today's episode. We want to take a quick moment to let you guys know what we offer for you on our website. We've got a full range of traveling campers merch. We've got men's, women's, kids' tees, and we've even got some hoodies and stickers as well. We've also got information about our setup, and we've also got a full detailed rundown on there of how we've gone from Back in the day, we've been following for a while to rarely travel into now traveling full time. We share absolutely everything on there with how we've done it. And there's an opportunity in there if it interests you uh, to check it all out. And maybe even 2023 is the year to make a change for you. You can jump on there, go through a quick, uh, a quick process or jump in the DMs on our social media. You'll be in contact with our personal assistants and we're about to help you guys out. Now, we don't ask for much, but take a quick second to jump on. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like. Also, drop a comment below of what your favorite part of the episode was. And you can also turn the little bell reminder so you don't miss any moments of traveling campers. Thanks so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of the episode.
Now we've come into a 20.6 off grid. So very similar to the last couple that we've looked through. We've got the side bed here. Now I know I go on about it all the time, but the side bed, we've had all three different beds now and the side bed is our absolute favorite. So, and again, it does give you that massive area in here to get changed. You've got your robes that you can just open right up and plenty of room on the side here to get changed. And then coming into your living area, I guess you'd call it, you've got your lounge on one side and your kitchen on the other. And I absolutely love having the kitchen on the awning side, especially if you've got little ones, you'll be able to watch them under the awning while they're playing and you're in here cooking or prepping dinner. And then over here on my left, you've got the bench seat, which just opens the area right up. So you've still got plenty of walkway coming in and out of the bathroom or the bunk area. We've also got the huge 224 litre fridge. So plenty of room in here to fill it up with all the kids snacks because that's all kids do all day long they just like to snack and then coming back here we've got the triple bunks in this particular layout so right down the bottom to all the way up here there's plenty of room for them to grow through the years as well so they'll fit in the bunks for as long as you need back here as well we've got plenty of storage so with the three bunks you've got three different uh, shelving in here so one for each child for all their clothes and then underneath again the huge washing machine everybody loves the big washing machine and then coming into the bathroom in here I was actually just in here before and it's got heaps of room in here it's got the smaller sink the smaller uh, bench area but for the space saving you actually get heaps of room for yourself you know when you jump out of the shower just to dry yourself and everything like that it's got the toilet and it's actually got the bigger shower as well so that's a quick look inside the 20.6 off grid so this van we just had a look through. this is a really popular one for guys that aren't really wanting to go into your 22 23 24 foot sort of territory still without wanting to go too long of a program. So again, I personally really, really like this. Uh, I'm a sort of a big fan of not going too long as well, but again, it all depends what you're telling with and what sort of travels you're planning on doing, more room for the kids, etc. But there is so many different layouts to sort of really get uh, exactly what you want. That's sort of the idea between all the uh, all the floor layouts I have on offer. Uh, there's sort of something for everyone, but quickly with the difference sort of with the, between the off-grid and the trooper, and we've looked through a Freelander as well. The biggest sort of difference here, these are all, uh, they're fully off-road, van between all three uh, all three of the models here. Biggest kind of difference is the point out that you're really going to notice is the uh, is the chassis there. So the chassis, uh, this is a painted chassis on here. The Trooper chassis is the hot dip galvanized and it also has a bit of a razor in there as well. So it does it does sit a little bit higher off the ground. And again, it does add a little bit more weight as well. So with this uh, the suspension on here as well, it comes down with the control rider suspension. Again, if you are building a van, you can option it out uh, for, for the airbags or for whatever, whatever you want to do there. Uh, but also inside, inside as well, the back battery system is a touch smaller uh, in the off-grid and the Freelander as well. So that's sort of the main, the main kind of off-the-grid sort of differences is the is the Trooper is sort of meant to be a uh, bit more battery capacity, a bit more serious chassis, a bit more serious suspension, uh, ready for the more more sort of rugged uh, rugged off-road. But again, for this, if you're looking at doing a lot of, uh, lot of off-road, you can up upgrade a couple of batteries in that as well, uh, but also want to keep the weight and that down a little bit as well. Uh, this is sort of between the off-grid and Freelander is a sort of better choice for that. Well, there you go guys, there's a little bit of an insight into a couple of different floor layouts. We always like to get a couple of cheeky videos like this when we're uh, we're in the caravan shows because all the vans are here and it just makes it nice and easy because again, we know uh, you guys are always looking and wanting to have different uh, different ideas, different layout ideas, all that sort of stuff. So really, uh, really, help, really hope that'll help. Again, there's a lot of exciting stuff here I know going on, especially with Lotus uh, for this year and going forwards as well. So that's uh, that's pretty much it for, uh, for this episode, guys. Again, really hope that helps and uh, stay tuned. We'll see you next week. Set beg, you get, get your... <laughs> Double. What is it? Water. 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 Good. Driving and and the trooper the trooper chassis. I can never say the trooper chassis. The trooper chassis is the 